Meghan Markle and Prince Harry departed from tradition when they named Archie Harrison, but they were taking leave out of Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson's book, as archive reports reveal. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry welcomed their firstborn Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor last month. After months of frenzied speculation, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex surprised the nation with a highly unusual name for their newborn, by royal standards, at least. Added to this, baby Archie has been given just one middle name. When Princess Beatrice, the firstborn of Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson, was born in 1988, royal watchers were similarly surprised by her unusual name, and her middle names. In reports from the time, experts call the newborn princess name a departure from royal etiquette and protocol. The publisher of Burke's Peerage, H.B. Brooks Baker, said, The Duchess has been successful in generating a minor social revolution which has had a great following throughout the world. The interest in the Duchess of York's first child is definitely not a newspaper hype, but is the result of millions of young people throughout the world identifying with her. The Duchess of York's quiet revolution is also visible in her and her husband's decision to use only three names instead of the usual five or six. This, in itself, is a departure from royal etiquette and protocol. In comparison, Prince Andrew's full name is Andrew Albert Christian Edward. Princess Beatrice was the name of Queen Victoria's youngest daughter, who went on to marry Spanish royalty. When Queen Elizabeth II gave birth to Prince Andrew in 1960, he was the first child to be born to a reigning monarch since Beatrice in 1857. Burke's peerage said, The reason the Duke and Duchess of York have chosen the name Beatrice is because of their desire to honor the King and Queen of Spain, who are more responsible for making the Duchess feel at home in the royal family than any other couple. The important Beatrice in royal history was a great-grandmother of the King of Spain, the youngest daughter of Queen Victoria. It is well known that the King of Spain, Juan Carlos I, was very touched with this honor. Like little Archie, whose name received only a handful of small bets before his birth, Beatrice also made the bookies smile. William Hill spokesman Graham Sharp said at the time, not one punter backed Beatrice. As far as we're concerned Princess Beatrice is the best thing to happen to the royal family in a long time. However, it emerged that Prince Andrew and Fergie's first choice for a name was not in fact Beatrice at all. The Sun claimed in 1988 that Andrew and Sarah Ferguson affectionately known as Fergie, wanted to call their firstborn Annabelle. However the Queen, who must approve royal names, rejected the name, apparently calling it too yuppie. Her Majesty is reported to have then suggested the name Beatrice herself. <laughs>